Okay, welcome to Pix TV under General Physics 2. This is me, your host, Dr. Glenn Michael Jameson B. Piquello. Okay, welcome to another session in General Physics 2. This time, our topic focuses on general relativity, one of the most fascinating theories in physics developed by Albert Einstein. Today, we will explore how this theory expands our understanding of gravity, space, and time. So what really are the basics of general relativity? General relativity is a theory of gravitation that describes gravity not as a force, as Newton did, but as a curvature of space-time caused by mass. Massive objects bend space-time around them, and this curvature tells other objects how to move, just like in our universe and solar system. Space-time and geometry of gravity. Imagine space-time as a stretchy fabric. If you place a heavy object on it, the fabric bends. This bending is what general relativity suggests happens to space-time around massive objects like planets and stars, just like what we are seeing in the figure here. One of the key predictions of general relativity is a gravitational redshift, where light escaping from a massive object like a star or black hole loses energy, shifting to longer rather web wavelengths as it climbs out of the gravitational well. Let's now have a sample calculation for this so-called redshift. The problem reads, calculate the gravitational redshift of light emitted from just outside the event horizon of a black hole. Given the light wavelength near the black hole is lambda sub-zero is equal to 500 nanometers, the Schwarzschild radius, the Schwarzschild radius is about 3 kilometers, and the mass of the black hole, for example, is m is equal to 10 to the 6 m plus, where m is the solar mass. Let's calculate the gravitational redshift using the formula. z is equal to 1 minus 2 g m over r s c squared, or the square of the speed of light, so you can use 3.0 times 10 to the 8 meter per second raised to negative 1 half minus 1. Plugging in the constants of gravity, the gravitational constant, you can look it up. Then the speed of light and the radius values given here. You can finally go through these things and calculate this on your scientific calculator and write the final answers as well as the given what is asked and the solution on your notebooks in physics. So the final formula that you can use is lambda is equal to lambda sub zero one plus z. You can use what you can calculate from the z earlier in step one. For g you can look it up for the value. Okay let's now move on to another key predictions or key concepts related to the general relativity theory of Albert Einstein. It's called gravitational lensing. Gravitational lensing occurs when the gravity of a massive object like a galaxy or a black hole bends the light or bends the path of light passing near it. This can magnify and distort the image of a background, background galaxy. So for our sample problem here, let's calculate the angle through which light is bent when passing near the sun. As you can see here, most of the problems here in, involves massive objects like stars, especially our sun. So the problem reads, calculate the bending of light by the sun given the closest approach to the sun is about 700,000 kilometers. We will use the formula for light bending in general relativity. Alpha is approximately 4 times the gravitational constant times m or the mass c squared b. Plug in the, 
the mass of the sun, the speed of light, and the distance b. Then lastly, compute for the bending angle and discuss its implication for observ observing objects behind the sun during an eclipse. You can write your answer on your notebooks. Let's now move on with the special events and also special objects connected to general relativity. The first one is connected to black holes, which are perhaps the most mysterious predictions of general relativity. They are regions of space where the gravitational pull is so strong that nothing, not even light, can, can escape from them once it crosses what we call the event horizon. So, for those who are watching movies involving black holes, so it's related to general relativity. It's true. Black holes are existing. In terms of the term gravitational waves, in 2015, a century after it was predicted by Einstein, gravitational waves were directly measured or detected. These ripples in space-time are created by some of the most violent and energetic processes in the universe, such as colliding black holes. General relativity is not just a theory of the cosmos. It impacts our daily lives. For instance, what we call the GPS or the Global Positioning System technology in our smartphones adjust for the effects of general relativity to provide accurate location or information, especially when using food panda. Understanding this theory is crucial for advancing our technology and expanding our view of the universe. Okay, we are now at the end of our video lesson. Just like our previous video lesson, we have our own exit cards. Just write the things or conclusions about what you have learned about the topic and also what questions are you going to ask the teacher. You can post this in the comment section of our YouTube video. Laging tandaan sa Pix TV, panalo ang natuto.